This is Laikipia, where nature is at its best. A sanctuary to wildlife and a home to a section of the Maasai community in Kenya. <laughs> The lives of people here have not changed much because they still love their livestock and culture. But I'm proud to be a Maasai. Yeah. Through generations, the inhabitants have learned how to adapt to nature, the main reason why they have survived here for so long. Wherever there is cattle, there is the Maasai. Herders are ready to travel wherever there is water and pasture for their animals. Survival here is mainly based on skills to find water and food for cows and goats. Recent developments have however raised concerns about the future of the community. It's a dry area, so most of times you find people have migrated. So you find the town is now object of profit because there nobody, nobody to purchase, nobody to do it. Currently, sand harvesting along riverbeds and charcoal burning are the main economic activities that take place on a daily basis in this location. They are not controlled and thus pose a serious threat to the already destabilized ecosystem. Water is difficult to fetch because of low and erratic rains that is the experience here, and when it does rain, it causes havoc. For those who are struggling to keep livestock, vendors buy milk meant for the market in Nanyuki town, while huge trucks visit the area to purchase cows, sheep and goats to be sold for meat in urban areas across the country. The girl child is not really um, put into, is not given a priority. So the girl child is totally left behind. Due to either early marriages, uh, pregnancy, early pregnancies. <laughs> To afford uh, uh, education is a problem. It is because of some of these factors that development organizations have initiated projects to address some of the challenges the community is now experiencing, and Home Trust is one of them. Our program normally deals with orphans. My name is Adi Frida. I am 15 years old and I am in Two East. The organization is dealing with the most vulnerable, children who have been orphaned due to the HIV and AIDS pandemic, as well as those coming from very poor families. My parents have died since I was in lower classes. My parents passed away and I'm in class three. My career is to, be a, to become a doctor. My career is to be a teacher because of many people who are from the town not educated. I need to be a lawyer. Scientist teacher. The house is normally divided into three parts. The other side belongs to the women and the young children, and this side to the man and sometimes his friends. Girls cannot sleep in the houses where their fathers are in Maasai culture. Circumcision. FGM is taking place in our community. We usually find out and follow the girls. The program is also addressing gender-related issues in a community where girls and women are placed third after boys and cattle. Find many girls. After FGM, they drop out. Because that, uh, they believe that after circumcision, you are a grown-up person. On boys, most of them undergo a process that makes them warriors, the initiation into manhood. It is through education that initiatives such as this will help in influencing change that respects the positive aspects of culture. This will further assist in protecting wildlife and also conserve the rich environment that is seriously under threat. 
there is the retrogressive culture which we want to actually come out of. Though slowly, the community has started to appreciate the role of education, but much needs to be done. Every morning, these children walk close to 20 kilometers to school and back home. And the area also has a lot of animals, for example, elephants, but sometimes even students uh, come to school up to 11. It has proven that education is life. I'm just but hoping to get a scholarship. Then I read to a college. After there, yes, um, I can just do but nursing. Hey, 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 hey.